special and as it seems to be. The last time we had the guest speaker for today, the last time he was here, we had a coffee. <laughs> and uh, fate happens to be so tricky that we had a coffee here today as well. The individual who is in the spotlight for the evening, I believe needs no introduction. But uh, one curious thing was, we all know about the designation of the Prime Minister. The designation which has led to a big controversial issue in Sri Lanka. Again, curiously enough, he played the very same role in a television sensation back in the day, and it keeps us wondering whether he's part of the bigger picture. <laughs> but that is what you know about this individual. What some of you may not know about this individual is that he, together with 12 others, founded a company which has now grown from 2008, if I'm not mistaken, from 2008, which has now grown into a fully fledged information technology enabled business solutions company with over 200 people and he currently serves as the managing director and chief executive of Enable. He's also a keynote speaker of many forums around the island and one of the best people to be speaking about personal branding to each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe this individual needs no further introductions. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Peter G. Almeida, the keynote speaker of the Image 2018. So, uh, wrong person to invite to speak to you all. 
some microcystis. Who has heard of some microcystis? What are they known for now? But they have got over, what are they known for? We are known for Java. They invented the Java. I met the, the, the John Gay who wrote Java. So I was very well connected with the, with the senior management at Sun. Uh, this did for the Kusuri GIS. They launched some unknown company. And here he was a big driver. Because Millennium Software was going through a crisis because the bomb had hit the World Trade Center and on the floor above the bomb was one of their top customers. They lost market in America. So we sustained that business. Then I, uh, I don't know why, ah, they were going to be acquired by now London Stock Exchange but before that another American company then I realized that company that's acquiring them will go on the software journey and our systems integration business will get left behind. So I walked away from that job and with 13 people got hold of HEMAS and started Enable. And now we are grown to 200. We are doing some very interesting work. We can talk about that. But the point I want to make is none of this was planned. And interestingly, I do not have uh, a degree. I failed my A-levels and I'll come to that in a minute. I don't have a technology uh, background. I don't have a business education. Nor do I have an act acting <laughs> education. Uh, so what is it, I think back, and I wonder, so what is it that made me who I am and uh, worthwhile you think to listen to? So uh, if I look back on my life, I think uh, the one thing that, uh, that is common uh, about all the things that I've done, and meanwhile I was also involved in the trade union movement, and I can, we can talk about some of that in Q&A. Um, the one thing I thought was, uh, I was uh, very curious. That's the same thing that Pradeep Di Almeida told me. He said, you know, Peter, I was very curious. Self-learning. So, always wondering why this, why that, um, ask questions, um, constantly very curious about what's going on. So that's why I joined even Sun Microsystems. I knew that the future could be around open systems, not closed systems. And we, we know that's what's happening. So where did this curiosity come from? I think it came from uh, my uh, imagination, you know. And, and this is the thing. Now Einstein himself said, imagination is more important than knowledge. But what does our education system and our jobs and all focus on? They give more priority to knowledge 
than to imagination. And even schools, even in jobs, they look at your educational qualifications mainly. And that's what you think, you know, you come here, get a good degree, of second class, second upper, normal, first class, whatever, and you are hoping that that might prepare you for this uncertain future that we are talking about. So imagination, everyone is born with imagination. And in fact, Einstein himself said, I have no special talents, I'm, I'm, I'm passionately curious. And that comes from imagination. Because, uh, but actually it's not true. Two percent of the population does not have imagination. There's a disorder called aphantasia. That means you can't see pictures in your head. Ara may may Firefox develop a Ross Blake, I think. He had aphantasia. He couldn't believe that people could actually see images in their head. He can't remember pictures of his father playing, mother playing with him, none of that. So 98%, which is most of us. Then what happens to us? A terrible thing happens. We go to school. Schools kill your imagination and your curiosity. Actually, it starts at home. You ask questions. End of conversation. That's it. Why should I eat melum? So you see, you start there. Then you put them through this terrible thing. I don't want to say it. Because how many of you came from the Shishatya program? Show of hands. Don't be shy. Oh, 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 son. Most of you. How many of you really enjoyed the Shishatya program? I near my api Shishatya. superb. So now, this damn Shishatya starts now when you are five years old. Am I correct, Dr. Rang? At ten years old. No, at five. At five, they start sending you for tuition. It's a terrible damn thing, no man. Then you get a big billboard. I got a shock. One day workshop. I thought for the parents, me podi aksyo arang, podi kali na unta ugan na na ugan na na ugan na na ugan na na ugan na na. And have you seen those children? She shot your first prize. Din turo na patre? Me ogolang ka already no at dana first stop. Why I'm very sorry. Bukom na himan himi. Daddy the next. Daddy the next. Second also. Nobody's happy, I say, she shut there and smiling. Those fellows are brainwashed and, you know, book, study, answer. Now we have another thing, Dhampasa. I say, Irida Nidagan, no, Nene. Munatada. Daydreaming, imagination. No, I get it. Irida, Irida, I say. Sudhu and the bag, they're walking on the road. I've seen these children, man. So, you know, how can they have time to imagine or any bloody thing? One day even they don't have to recover. Saturday classes, tuition, elocution, sangeet, arrakai, make a pattern of all you have there. So, how can you have curiosity and imagination when you just don't have time to just be yourself, be completely free? That's what happened to me. My father, very fortunately, I say now, not at that time, died when I was four. He was a strong Catholic, conservative Catholic. Sure, I got up a mage, Ulua, Minya, Hadana, Koi Pahara, the Muyaka, and no He would have said, This is what God says. Yes. Accept, don't ask questions. Now, my family became from, uh, some of you may have seen some TED talk or whatever, 11 children in the family. Mother and father, 12, 13, grandmother, 14, two cousins, 15, 16. Father dies when I am four. He was 64. Then he said, I don't know what to do with my father. I don't know what to do with my father. So now I am 60. So I can now have a child. That's the point I want to make. So uh, he died. No income. Very small income. He was an insurance agent or something like that. And, uh, you know, um, very limited resources. But my eldest, uh, my second eldest sister was married. Second sister. Uh, third sister and my brother, number four. They all had to chuck up their, one sister wanted to go to university very badly. Uh, but you know, she had to give it up and uh, come and, uh, you know, make sure this family 
प्रेम पैटा उन्हें आप दिग्गत हूँ दैट वी ऑल सवाइव सो फर्स्ट थिंग लिमिटेड रिसोर्स सो यू नो यू टू मैनेज बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग माई फादर बींग रिमूव फ्रॉम द सीन आई वॉज कंप्लीटली फ्री बिकॉज दोज डेज यूज टू एक्चुअली आंस द पैरिश प्रीज आर पालियंग आना वेदर माई वेदर माई सिस्टर्स कुड गो एंड सी अ फिल्म इज इट अप्रोप्रिएट सो पारिश पाल्य स्वामी तमें क्या ना मेक नंबर आने बोलो या को मैं क्या ना ने Not, not adults only film, normal films. You think me? You know, so I, I, I find that that freedom I had, because my mother had no bloody time to come for my parent teachers. Yeah, I'm good tip man. Parent teachers meet. Ogla ke tipal. Malabat ya akne. So, uh, and what do these uh, parents come and ask? First, they ask your maths. Me, uh, then you have got 98 for. whatever maths maths but at that time they had no home science one hari game ko e aragada den amma da duwano desk ekin desk ekata man dekhala thiyena e gulo me ka vibhaya karana wage then they'll ask what's the first question they'll ask when you have 98 for something iskole gila mokadda han negalo isalam what do you think why couldn't you get the other two no before that they'll ask another question vela kaata hari siyak kamuna ये तो गोटा टीच के ना वो पास देने को डाम ना पास देने को डाम मोड़े आका बट लाखों ने देखा गांडे पुरा बैठे माय पॉइंट इस वेयर डू यू ड्रॉ द लाइन 98 स्टिल नॉट गुड इनफ सो यू आर अ फेलियर दैट्स अस अदर पॉइंट इमेजिनेशन क्यूरियोसिटी फियर ऑफ फेलियर नाउ आई हैव नो अ चाइल्ड माय पार्टनर्स මේ අකාට මම ඉතින් ඩිස්ලෙක්සියා වෙන්නත් පුළුවන් අකුරු එහෙම වැඩිය දන්නේ නැහැ තාම ගොඩිය දන්න අකුරු දන්න සෝ බට් හි ඉස් බට් හි ඉස් අ බ්‍රිලියන්ට් ෆෙලෝ හි මේක්ස් හි වොස් මේකින් කයිට්ස් ෆ්‍රොම් ද ටයිම් හි වොස් 5 යු නෝ හව් ඩිෆිකල්ට් අයි ස්ටිල් කාන් මේක් අ කයිට් අර බොක්ක කියලා කියනවා මම මේ පොඩි කොල්ලා මම හදනවා ඇන්ඩ් හි ෆ්ලයිස් දිස් කයිට්ස් තාල හි ඉස් ලර්නින් ෆිසික්ස් දෙන් වෙනි කම්ස් හෝම් එන්න වත් ඒගොල්ලෝ Where my partner, they, she come to usher take galu. Kalisma adala, oh, wala wala hara na, oh, kumburu hada na. Then wheel barrow, kada godal godal da. Usona 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 usona. Then he can lift it. Now he tries to push, then back. Now he is learning forces acting the fulcrum. Then godal adu karna. Adu karna then gaan te na kote talu karna. Now he realizes that you need less weight because now there is force and all. He is learning physics without realizing. Now he came home one day very happy. I say already twenty minutes gone. I'll take about thirty, and then <laughs> uh, he came home one day very happy. Mukadha, prashna bhatte radham mukadha diila. Vissak prashna diila ekak khari. Damn happy. But you see, that's the growth mindset. I had twenty problems. I cracked one. Now in our in our education system, the Qualifying mark is twenty. Every time you lose one, you're failing. You're failing. You're failing. You're failing. You're failing. You just reverse that mindset and the teaching in schools. One, very good. Two, excellent. Three, superb. Four, five, six, different mindset, growth mindset. So no fear of failure. You're growing every time. I'm cracking a new problem. I'm solving one more problem. So. Now this fellow is going to school. Fortunately, it's a little okay. But I'm trying to see if they can get him out and put him into another school because they'll finish him off. So, past curiosity and 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 imagination are killed. Now this uh, price water school is very interesting for you all because you see now you are coming in. Now this is 2018. Now you will start. Now if you work for 30 years or 20 years, let's say, uh, what what will it be? 28, 38. 2038 can you imagine what the world will be like in 2038 so what's the the image or or the branding that you're going to build for yourself today how can you foresee that so what is it that you need to have to be able to create and be relevant to the world that will be in 2028 and 2038 and then you'll go into your last 5 years of your life to retirement what will be the what will be there so price water scoopers did a study of a uh, uh, number of people and uh, also ibm did a study anyway long story short they said the forces that shape the future 
the workforce of 2030, they called it. They said, the skills you need, two things, important things, problem solving, creativity. Schools don't teach you to solve problems. You don't get together in teams. But university So you know you are not collectively solving problems. That's not there. And certainly they are not encouraging creativity. So two important things that you need as you face an uncertain future. Problem solving and creative. And they come if only you have a sense of curiosity that comes from asking questions. So that's the main point I want to, I want to leave with you. Um, but uh, you know, as you face interviews and things like that, somebody, so, so let's talk about my own, my own self, right? Uh, somebody might ask, so, so what's, 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 what about you? So the image of you is something that's very unique to you, right? What makes you, you? That's what your image is. This is what makes me, me. You can say that when you say you, the image that you're projecting. So what makes you you? So I think about that and people ask me this question, so what's, what's, what's unique about you? So I think about it and I say two things. One thing I found and that has helped me in my job and all that, with curiosity comes the possibility, uh, the, 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 the capability to see new possibilities. And that's imagination, right? One of the key things about, because knowledge is limited. You only know what you know, but imagination opens out the whole world to you. So, can you see possibilities? Now, when we started Enable, we were looking at a big business from dialogue. dialogue five million dollar project. network telecom network. That year, dialogue went from ten billion rupees profit to zero. Next year they went to 10 billion loss. Meme graphic. Now what do you do? business plan. 13, by that time, two second year gone, we had about 20 people. But we found virtualization. Anyone has heard of virtualization? Computer science can I know? Hurry. Doesn't matter. Simply, what, what virtualization was, uh, to, you, know, you know, the servers are getting strong, you know, more and more and more powerful, right? You know that. They found that most of the servers, because these servers, the architecture is such, you can run only one application in one server, however powerful it may be. You can run only one application. So, we went, because we found out from VMware, what they did was, they did a, they have a tool to go and look at how your servers are faring. Most servers in most of the banks and, in, and telcos and all that were running at under 10% capacity. In one bank, a server was running at 2% capacity but drawing 70% of the rated power. So cost. Dialog had 300 servers all drawing 70% of the rated power, all performing at under 30%. So virtualization is a technology that allows, builds software computers, which actually software, that can run on this. So you create about 10, 20, 30 uh, computers to run inside, not that, not that it's running inside, but you can think about it like that. Using the power of the computer to create 30 computers each of them running different applications. So we went to a software house and we converted 90 applications into two servers. So we discovered that, we saw that possibility and we went after that market. But that was very, very small margins and returns for us. Api millennium in the $50,000 project to get GP Natang, we won't take it. But when we started Enable, when we hit rock bottom, we had to hit the road. I had to roll my sleeves, hit the road, and we were celebrating orders that were $1,000 GP. Clap Because Hemas is giving us money, they'll cut the, they'll remove the plug. So, possibilities. Can you see new opportunities? That's one. Second thing that I find that, that has helped me throughout all of my career, whatever I did, storytelling. And you should be able to tell your story. So most people come for interviews and they are not able to tell a story. Here's what I am. So they are struggling. So you tell them, you know, tell me about school and about yourself. I always start there to see whether they have done something different. 
Rotary Club Bari, when I'm on Hari, they are Karad, will come to the CV later. But immediately they say, I went to the school and I'm on A levels, and they jump to the next, uh, you know, want to come to their career. So if you don't tell a story about yourself, firstly, you understand what is unique about you, or what is special about you, or what is, you know, what skills do you have, and then you must be able to tell a story. And we have to tell stories to our customers, that virtualization. I met 30 customers, all CEOs, not IT department. And 23 of them converted. And that kept us going till we started doing all the fancy things we are now doing today. So storytelling. And storytelling is also important for your own employees. Because you need to keep them engaged. Eh? When there's a when they're challenged, when the things are bad, you need to, you know, keep them motivated, inspired. So you know, tell a story. And most important I found. We have to tell stories to our shareholders, the people we report to, so that they are confident that there is something that we can believe in this and we'll support. So how good are you at telling your own story, let alone stories about solutions and things like that? That is something you want to consider. And uh, finally, learning. You have today a massive potential to learn. Don't limit yourself to what you are learning at University of Moratua. It may be the greatest university in Sri Lanka, but there's only so much they can teach. The rest comes from reading, and there is so much to learn today, access to internet. Now, I was reading a book, Seven Basic Lessons of Physics. I ask all of you who are doing science, Dr. Ranga Pulwanang Rotary, Rotary Club, Beki Ganda, Dahayak Pitra, Podi Potak. Carlo Rovelli has written fascinating book for you to understand the world of particles and physics and all that. If only I read that book, I would have been so good. My A-levels, what happened? I was going to tell you that story. I was very interested in science. Uh, not that I was not. But I went there and they were starting to, you know, but I'm curious. I'm, I don't want to just write notes. So two people interested me, for those who have done physics. Max Planck and Niels Bohr. I physics physics department. Dr. Ranga? No, not physics, but you all learn, right? Yeah, yeah. So, quantum, quantum and all, you all learn something, right? When A levels you learn. So, I started asking, I was fascinated by, particularly about Max Planck. I said, I said, sure, I said, I said, I said, I said, I that curiosity to learn about science. Now, talking about science, I'll, I'll just share that with you all, because I think it's very good for you to know this. Uh, I think the way we are teaching science is all wrong. You see, because we are compartmentalized this, you know, into physics and chemistry and electronics and this and that. And today, the world is interdisciplinary. There's no science, just because you do physical, chemistry does not mean, ah, I'm going to follow a program in chemistry. No. Now, in fact, in fact, the, the, the problem with the whole teaching of science is they say that uh, the core aim of science education is to ensure students leave school with skills and confidence to discuss and shape scientific and technology ad advances, whatever their career. So you know enough to create a curiosity in you about science so that you can talk about things about science even though your career is not in science. And, and the problem, they say, is uh, we must challenge the assumption that the study of science is primarily for the training of future experts. No. That is why the British Science Society, not like our Science Society, has a very nice vision. The vision is of a world where science is at the heart of culture and society. What a lovely vision. So, when you're learning science, if you're supposing they teach science like this, Let's understand the science of um, environment. Then what do you learn? You learn protecting the environment. Now you are learning a little bit of physics. You have to learn biology. You have to learn chemistry. You have to learn about uh, atmospheric pressure, rain, waterfall, geography. Then you begin to see how these subjects come to life. Rather than, you know, your narrow field. So interdisciplinary, how do these come together? And also, can you choose a career that is not in making an expert in the study that you have done? Now, I had an interesting uh, discussion with uh, 
31 minutes. I'll stop in a little while. Interesting, uh, 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 Girl Guides Association, they had an event, Careers Day event, and there's a young lady who stood up. And she said that she has got three A's, medical college, and she said, you know what, I think these A's are a curse on me. So I thought, what the hell? You know what she said? I really want to write poetry. That's what I want to do. Not, not be in medical college. What do you say? So I said, you know what? Those two don't have to be mutually exclusive. You can be a doctor and you'll be a damn good doctor because you'll also be interested in the creative arts. And you will be, you know, you can write poetry. And can you imagine a doctor who write poetry? Now, today's doctors, not all of them, most of them. They say that in 18 seconds, a doctor will interrupt your conversation. You go, sir, the old lady comes, Mama, you see? And they have no time to talk to you, to understand, ready to prescribe. Ready to prescribe. So, I said, you can be an extraordinary doctor with the ability to understand poetry and all of that. So, I'm asking you, to challenge yourself. Does your career have to be decided today? Not necessary. Keep your options open. And does it have to be only in the sciences that you have studied as a subject? Is that where your, your heart is? And finally, what is all this for? Legacy. You spoke about Patrick. And you yourself, hotelier, turned into HR took a different path. You might be inspired by that. Um, what is all this for finally? Legacy. What do we want to leave behind? That's why we come to the, to the question of consciousness that I speak about. Is it enough for you to only worry about your, your career and your education or that? Look at the problems that we are facing in this country. I'm not talking about this current crisis that's been created with the abuse of the executive power of the president. It should be stopped. In fact, all along in the CMU and in, in our life, we have said, stop this executive presidency. It gives dictatorial powers to one person. And we are saying, abolish it, finish it off. Again, you have seen how the executive president has used his power uh, in an absolutely arrogant way, suspended the sittings of parliament. That's not the point. That's a separate matter. Look at the other issues facing the people of this country. Let's take that one issue that I talk about, chronic kidney disease. Thousands of our people are dying. And we still don't know why. For 12, 15 years or 20 years this has gone on. And most of them are farmers from Polanaru, Anuradhapura and all those areas. You all have heard about this, Vakugadu Prashne, right? You all know this. Right, now, about 5 or 6 years ago, we needed 1,000 dialysis machines. We had 180. To make 1,000 dialysis, to buy 1,000 dialysis machines. Dialysis, not only when you get kidney failure, you have to go for dialysis. Sometimes, three times a day, my sister had kidney failure and finally she died. Uh, of course, they had the money. So one dialysis is 8,000 rupees if you, go to a, if you go to a private hospital. You'll do three, 24,000. How can you, an ordinary farmer, afford this? So 180 dialysis machine. 1,000 would have cost 2 billion. 2 billion. What did we do? Instead of doing this, we built the Surya Weber Cricket Stadium. 4.5 billion rupees. How many cricket matches are played there? Is it all right? Can you be indifferent to this? Drought, water. 50% of this country does not have clean drinking water. And there is a drought going on when we have a superb irrigation system, highly advanced. Now when there is a power of phosphate deposit, I, don't, I can't go into all of that. Uh, the, the government of that day tried to take it and sell it to a, to a multinational. We went and stopped it. Uh, again, I, I don't think I can go into that. But in a power, if that company came, Freeport McMoran, they would have pulled out the phosphate and taken it out in 30 years. We could have used phosphate for 200 or 300 years, taken 30 years, and they left big holes like cratered moon. And Epawala, that area in Anuradhapura, is one of the most, uh, uh, you know, soil and water conservation, advanced soil and water conservation system. So if we can restore our tanks, our, go back to our past and, and do something, we can have irrigation without any problem. Instead of which, we are now, instead of digging and creating the waterways, we are taking sand and filling the, the, the the, the sea and making a bloody port city. For whom is this? Not for the vast majority of the people of this country. So I ask you, what are you preparing for? Is it only your career? 
Or are you going to be conscious of at least one of these many iniquities that we face in this country and do something about it without expecting to be, you know, then you all must also be thinking, then they see a visse card the chandidan. Eat a passe chandidala, pede una by banina me patolea, mu adapne, me arakai, me kai. So frustrated. But I am saying be part of some movement, whatever it is, either environment, clean drinking water, whatever it is, pick your pick your make your pick, but be engaged. Only then can you say, you know, when you have a few minutes to reflect on your life, legacy, Patrick, you can say, you know what? It's not about the career, the house I built, the car I have, you know, my family all got in my calib dowries for my daughters. None of that. Thirty seconds. You reflect on your life, you can see I addressed at least one of the many issues that face the people of this country. Only then can you say about your brand and yourself, my life was well lived, my life was worth it. Thank you.